Hi guys and welcome to a new video on the data mining the social media with Python tutorials. Today we are going to talk about analyzing tweets entity analysis. So this tutorial is all about analyzing entities in tweets. We're going to perform some frequency analysis using the data collected in the previous examples and videos. Slicing and dicing this data will allow users to produce some interesting statistics that can be used to get some insights on the data and answer some questions. Analyzing entities such as hashtags is interesting as these annotations are an explicit way for the author to label the topic of the tweet. So we will start with the analysis of the tweets by packet publishing one of my favorite place to buy books. And as Pact Publishing supports and promotes open source software, we're interested in finding what kind of technologies are mentioned often by Packet Publishing. So I already written the code for this e example and uh, you can pause the video and and just write this code and i will start explaining uh, what's going on so we will use this um, script for this and then we will use the JSON L um, uh, JSON L uh, file and this file I, I collected uh, from previous uh, from pre I'll just uh, from the previous and uh, previous uh, video and I collected uh, Tony Robbins uh, timeline and the packet pub JSON timeline. So we will use this very soon. So it's collected. Let me go over the code first. So this script takes a name of a JSON, dot JSON L file as argument from the command line, as we saw. This is the argument from the argument that is taking. This is where it happens. and reads its content one line at a time as each line contains a json document it loads the document into the tweet variable and uses the get underscore hashtags helper function to extract the list of hashtags these type of entities are stored in the hashtags variable Uh, which is declared as collections dot counter and um, and this is a special type of dictionary that is used to count hashable objects in our case strings the counter holds the strings as keys of the dictionary and their respective frequencies as values it happens here and being subclass of dict the counter object per se is an unordered collection 
the most common method which is here you're just responsible for ordering the keys depending on their values most frequent first and returning a list of key value tuples and the get hashtags helper function is responsible for retrieving a list of hashtags from the tweet the whole tweet loaded into a dictionary is given as the only argument of this function if entities are present in the tweet the dictionary will have an entities key since this is optional we can we can't access tweet uh, and brackets and then quotes entities directly as this could raise key error so we will use the get function instead specifying an empty dictionary as default value if the entities are not present the second step consists of getting the hashtags from the entities as entities is also a dictionary and the hashtags key is also optional we use the get function again but this time we will specify an empty list as the default value if no hashtag is present finally we will use a list comprehension to iterate through the hashtags in order to extract their text The hashtags are normalized using lower to force the text to be lowercase. So mentions such as hashtag Python in capital P or hashtag Python in all capitals will be grouped into hashtag Python in lowercase. So when we run when we ran this script to analyze uh, the packet pub tweets produces this output this is the current output for today or yesterday as uh, or from the last previous video I recorded the video yesterday so this is from the result from yesterday so we can see that there are references about events and promotions by packet pub such as hashtag packet five dollar but most hashtag mentions hashtags mention is a specific technology with Python and JavaScript be, being the most tweeted. So this script gave, uh, gave us an overview of the hashtags most frequently used by Packet Pub. But let's say we want to dig a bit a little bit deeper. We can in fact produce more descriptive statistics that give us an overview how hashtags are used by packet publishing and for that purpose we will use this script which is quite long so pause the video and write this to your screen if you want to and it ends here so I hope you have if you want to follow along that you have written the uh, code and now let's go ahead and and try that and we will use it on the same timeline for packet pub or let's just try this uh, other on Tony Robbins timeline see if how that performs so all the hashtags used work, works on other 
other users as well. So when we use this script that we have, uh, the one that I've sh shown you right now, for um, to get the statistics, and again from Packet Pub, you can see the majority of the tweets by Packet Pub have at least one hashtag which confirms the importance of this type of entity in the way people communicate via Twitter. On the other hand, the breakdown of the hashtag count shows that the number of hashtags per tweet is not large. Approximately 1% of tweets have five or more hashtags. For this breakdown, we will observe two different percentages. The first is calculator over the total number of tweets, while the other is calculator over the number of tweets with at least one tweet called a light set. So in similar fashion, we can use we can observe our user mentions with this tweet running this script over the same JSONL file. So pause the video, copy the text and the code. And like I said, it will give us the user mentions. So let's try to run this. On our packet pub JSONL file. So it produces this output and if we want to try it on Tony Robbins timeline it produces this output so go ahead and try to see what you are able to find so I hope so this is it for this video I hope you have liked what you have seen and please give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe if you like the content and i see you guys in the next video bye